cartoon image into um, an SVG. So we're going to be using BART here. And the first thing that we're going to do, like we do with everything else, we are going to trace BART. So you just go to your trace panel, put the square over him, make sure the lines are nice and crisp and all yellow, and then you want to hit your trace. So this original, we don't need it anymore, we can get rid of it. So now we have our traced image, and then from here we're going to click on our traced image, we're going to give it some color. Um, I always use pink for the fill, and for the line color, I use black. And the reason why I do this is because on the next step, you'll be able to see all of your um, pieces. So for your next step, you want to go to Object, Modify, I'm sorry, Object, and Release Compound Path. So what that does is it separates out all the pieces for you. So now we're going to start coloring in these pieces. So we're going to take the outer layer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take this outer layer. If I can get it. Okay. And we're going to fill it in with black. That's going to give us all of our outer layer. And we're going to grab the rest of the pieces that we need. That should be black. So if you um, hold your shift button and click on each one, then you can turn them all at one time. So now we have all of our pieces that should be black. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the eyes. Hold shift, grab both eyes. The eyes are white. And make sure you change your line color and also your fill color for each color. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do his uh, face. So we have his face. Um, both hands and both legs and for Bart those are usually some type of orangey yellowishy color so we're gonna um, change to a yellowy color for Bart we'll use this color right here make sure you change your line color and your fill color and then we are going to next do his shirt so make sure you grab all of the pieces of the shirt the sleeve even these little pieces in here and it's a tiny piece right there. We're going to grab that. And we're going to turn that red. Line and fill red. And I didn't get this little piece. And then we're going to get his pants. He normally wears blue pants, so we're going to change his pants to blue. And then we're going to do the shoes. So I'm going to make the soles of the shoes uh, a light gray. And then we will make the rest of the shoe um, we'll go with blue as well and the inside little circle we'll do it red so that it matches his shirt So now that we have everything all colored in, we are going to grab the whole image and we will be going to Object, Modify, and Subtract All. Now what that does is once that's done, it separates the back piece 
because this was laying on an all black layer so it takes that black layer out and just gives you your outline and then you have all of your regular pieces so from here we're going to go to your panel you're going to go to select by color you are going to select by your fill color you're going to grab your black you're going to go to object and make compound path you're going to grab your uh, next set of pieces and you're going to go to object and make compound path then we're going to go to our yellow pieces we're going to go to object make compound path and we'll grab our blues and go to object and make compound path and our red it'll grab all of the red pieces for us we're going to object make compound path and then we're going to go to our white pieces object make compound path now we're going to grab the whole thing and we're going to go to object and we are going to convert to path so now we've just changed this image into from a cartoon image into an SVG and if we look now we have all of our separate pieces so we have our yellows all of our red all of our blue and then we have our outline so now this is an SVG all these pieces can be changed to whatever colors you want them to be changed to and this can all now be cut out in um, in vinyl And it can also um, be used for sublimation. If you just wanted to print it out like this and go ahead and sublimate it on an image, you can do that as well. All right, so that is how you change a regular cartoon image in Google to an actual SVG to be used for sublimation or to be cut out in vinyl.